Well, we're going to start an adventure ride. Miles will be um, somewhere very pretty. So I'm just sort of west of, well, northwest of Barrowville. Come along, um, yeah, Barrowville Road. I'm going to head up to Never Never Creek area. There's some tracks in there I sort of had a bit of a look at last time, but I found a lot more. So I'm going to go back and do some more exploring, and we'll go from there, eh? Bellingen Road does obviously get you through to Bellingen but it takes you um, by a pretty mountainous sort of dirt section so it's far more interesting than the highway so that'll be the first first bit of um, fun road to get me down closer to Never Never and, and the promised land Definitely nice in here. Got about a, uh, a couple of k's of dirt so far. I think it's about 40 k's. Winds its way from Barrowville over to Bellingen. Which is, um, yeah, you sort of want to look around, but pretty easy to go off the road. Damn. <laughs> I don't know, it's just nice. Nice bit of forest. It's starting to open up a bit. You can see how steep the country is by these. Well, <laughs> well I'll have a look around. So basically, pull up here for a sec. Do you straight up? Or it's nearly straight down cool so they would have a lot of washaways here fair bit of um, road work's been done building these things these concrete vertical bloody walls plenty of land slips there's another one plenty of them yeah so they put some work into this road would have got cut off a fair bit, I'd say. Looking good now. There are the mountains. Traffic, people, hippies. <laughs> well, pretend hippies. There's probably a few in the valleys around here, but she's more of a hipster town now. Go, eh? 
never never creek and she's running nice just pretty pools we'll go up further into some even nicer country so definitely nice river down there but we're still where all the tourists go so they're fixing up the bridge that's okay I'm going on somewhere different so for now on Beaten, off the beaten track. bit of a maze of roads in here I think I'll be going out that way but at the moment assuming this is a road so this is basically the creek okay I guess it's never creek of a mystery tour with a few obstacles now I don't know where I'm at any meeny miny mo we'll go this way new to me <laughs> okay looks like some sort of campgrounds well, pretty sort of remote-ish sort of places. Cool. Let's have a bit of a squeeze at this one. Yeah, so off the, um, definitely off the touristy spots now. You're, um, yeah, you're not getting in here without full drive. So we'll go down the creek here. It's pretty, pretty impressive. And if I see it, yeah, the odd person's campy. We'll have a look at the water. And there's one um, impressive looking waterway. Look at this water trickling everywhere. Super clear water. 
Get out there. We're on the bend, bend of um, the, the river. Yeah, the cheese crystal clear. Might keep going around. This road does a big loop apparently. So we are sure to cross it and see it more. Let's go wandering. So definitely follow on a river. God. <laughs> It'd be interesting in the wet. The old track. So we'll just go around. Hopefully, it does the loop that I've seen. It's going to have its challenges, I can see. <laughs> now that's steep it's steep but it's nothing horrifying stick to the right that's fine It'll slow down 90% of cars. There's a little campsite here. Beautiful. I guess one thing with um, setting up cameras and probably riding past them and picking them up again is you, you get to see a lot of things you wouldn't normally see. And just yeah, being able to set the camera up at the bottom of the hill just let you know what it's like properly before you commit to it rather than just barreling off the edge of it with um you know big heavy fucking bike anyway water's behind me I can hear it trickling away so we'll have a proper look I might even use the drone here we'll see what happens
actually quite hard to describe how peaceful it is in here. Definitely, yeah, super peaceful, super quiet. No one for miles now. I do, most of my rides are on weekdays, so I avoid all the people, which is a beautiful thing of working night shifts. But uh, yeah, this is awesome. You hear that? Nothing. There's nothing. Birds. Water. That's where we come from. Not sure when earlier. That just seemed to go up into the mountains. Look, it probably did drop down on the river somewhere, but I was getting higher and higher, and um, yeah, I couldn't see water where I was heading. So um, yeah, we're going to cruise back. Going to go back via uh, some other road. Try and um, trying to get on the Valerie Road. Going to cut across the forest a bit. <laughs> this could be a challenge. But uh, yeah, GPS should sort me out. But that's yeah, that's bloody nice in there. Eh? Really pretty. But it's a yeah, you can see it's four-wheel drive country. So slow a few tourists down or a few holiday makers anyway. But uh, yeah, let's go back along here. I'm not even on the map yet, so technically I don't even exist. Should be pretty crazy in the wet, I reckon. back to roads that exist on the GPS old GPS ain't showing me not much 
in Bindari National Park. This road's pretty good. Been going for a few k's now. So if that one won't show me, there's a reasonable chance this other one will. Granite Pit Road. That's what I'm trying to get to. At Timbaru. If I get that Timbaru, that will um, navigate. Replace destination. So I'm only 2Ks from where I'm at, from where I, where I want to be, so cool. It's funny, the, um, the bike on GPS is just starting to little breadcrumbs, dropping little blue dots, I don't know if you can see them. Starting to work out where it is. About to rejoin the main sort of road, so yeah, as I said, definitely a good idea having two sort of devices and you know, even better is having maps. But yeah, if you just rely on one thing, it either won't have what you want or the battery will go flat or fucking something will go wrong. confusing and interesting I just come out of there so I've done a big loop from the creek it's like 15 20 k's and now I'm here which apparently is Valerie Road got about four different um, sort of changes in the GPS but hey <laughs> getting disorientated well that's pretty well it I found it. Head back and um, yeah, grab a feed. We'll enjoy this country roads and um, I'll catch you next time.